Hey guys, my name's Dave. We're back again with another heavy metal music theory. This time we're taking a look at Alice in Chains' Frogs. Now this song is very unique. As you heard in the intro performance of the part that we're going to be analyzing, the notes used are in repetition and they're somewhat dissonant, right? They're not pretty, they're not bright, they're not happy. There's, a, there's an edginess to these notes. And I'm here today to help explain what the hell's going on with these edgy notes. The notes used, if we're in standard, we're just gonna keep it simple, are six open, which is E, five four, which is C sharp, and then we have an open G string. All right, and that's going to make up the bulk of this three note repetitive pattern to open up the song. Now, obviously, it does elaborate as you go forward, but I just wanted to take a look at this one section. Long before I ever knew anything about music theory, I would listen to this song and I would think, man, it's, it's so dark, it's so off, right? So, like I said, today we're gonna to figure out what's going on with these notes. Now, if you take the notes E, C sharp, and G, what you're gonna notice is that if you just change the order and play a C sharp, I'm gonna do this on piano for you so you can hear it as a chord. C sharp, which is the second note used, E, which is the first note used, and then G, which is the third note used, if you play those together, <coughs> if you play those together, what you're actually getting is a diminished chord. You have C sharp to E, which is a minor third, and then you have E to G, which is also a minor third. So stacked minor thirds equals a diminished triad. So they've very creatively taken a very simple but very ugly and unstable diminished triad, inverted the notes, spread them out across the guitar, not just sticking to one area, and they've added repetition and rhythm and, and a vibe to this whole thing, and they've created a very unique musical soundscape, all right? So we're dealing with just an inverted diminished triad, okay? And just another example of how something simple can be amazing, right? And what I like about this is that it's not just doing a standard 1-4-5 in the key of G, right? We've heard that a billion times. This is taking something off the beaten path that you wouldn't normally think to do, and it's making it awesome, all right? Inverted Diminished Triad, Alice in Chains, Frogs, amazing stuff. Please like, please subscribe, and have a great day.